This race day replay is brought to you by Edelbrock, the most respected name in performance. Can Hines put together a pass against the class killer, Joel Greyhouse. Here in the finals of BP Racing Fuel, Street Outlaw. Greyhouse shattered the ET and mile per hour records this weekend. Hines probably the more consistent car though. Great house. Took a couple swings from the fence. Hines consistently A to B all weekend. Greathouse creeps through the beams, and Phil Hines has some problems, but he's going to be the 2016 VP Racing Fuels Street Outlaw Champion. Sparks out of Hines' car, not exactly sure what that was. He takes the event win, and uh, looks like he's going to be the VP Racing Fuels Street Outlaw Champion for 2016. So either way, it's a big congratulations to Phil Hines and the crew. Number one of two qualifiers here. Takes the win. Aaron Bates, your number one qualifier. Coyote Modified. Pro Charger Coyote Modified moves into the water box. Joe Garrett from Port St. Lucie, Florida. The Sheriff, number two qualifier, Haley James. This is the final of Pro Charger Coyote Modified. the number four qualifier and take out the number two qualifier. Bracket two and three. Bracket two and three to the length. shot for James. Will James be able to hold him off? Top end of the track. Yes. Haley James takes out the number two qualifier, Joe Gurton, in the finals to take the Pro Charger Coyote Modified victory. This is the Hitchman 
Racing Turbo Coyote Shootout Finals. shot the lit lane and Jordan takes the win. Justin Jordan, the number three qualifier, takes out Brent Stabler, number one. VMP performance, Terminator GT500 shootout. Finals are in the water box. West Virginia in the left lane against the number one qualifier, Brian Devilbus out of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. shot goes to Devilbus. A lot of smoke out of the car in the left lane. I cannot see it. Devilbus takes the win. Horton can't tell what's going on down there. Truck and Lightning, Truck and Lightning and Super Stang to the lanes. Detroit Locker, Truck and Lightning. And Roush, Performance, Super Stang to the lanes, please. I believe this is the final of factory stock. Meredith in the left lane, Amron in the right. Meredith, number one qualifier. Right start for Amron Meredith is going to take the win. So congratulations, James Meredith. Taking home the factory stock win. G-Force Racing Transmission Pure Stock Finals coming at you. Sean Johnson in the left lane, Teddy Weaver in the right. Shot to the number two qualifier Johnson, but he has problems, and Teddy Weaver is going to take the victory. And as soon as these car le cars leave the line, Tyler and the crew will be down there prepping the track for Street Outlaw. Harold Horton, you need to report back to tech for the contingencies with your car. Harold Horton, back to tech with your car for the contingencies. Hole shot for Hendricks. Looks like Stymus is out in front. 
And yes, Stymus takes the win. The number four qualifier knocks out number one, 1023, 128 to a losing 1034 at 129. Bracket three cars, bracket three cars. I need you back in the staging lanes. Bracket three cars. Do work, and he does. Randy Conway comes from behind to take the win. 007 start for Van Veen. He gives, or he breaks out top end. 048 start for Conway. That'll bring us to our finals. The Flexalite open comp. Dennis Corn in the left lane. 952 is his index. Tim Hamilton to get the head start. 1069. Bracket three, I have called you back to the lanes. Double O seven light for Hamilton. Dennis Corn, O twenty one. Corn drives around top end as Hamilton breaks out. 1068 with a 7 on his 69 index. Tim Hamilton breaks out. Corn takes the open comp victory. This is the final of the race pages. Ford Muscle Class. Danny Tao in the left lane, Lawrenceville, Georgia. 12 flat index. Tom Osterkamp, Hereford, Texas. 10 0 index. Tao have a two second head start. O26 light for Tao. Much better O26 light for Tao than Oster Camps. 103. And top end. Oster Camp comes from behind. Danny Tao gave it back to him. Top end of the track. 12-12 on a 12-0 index. Ostracamp runs 10-04 with a 2 on his 10-flat index. Makes it up margin of victory, 0-0-8 at the strike. I love going fast. Always have and always will. Top end kits used to be created from scratch. Grabbing parts, putting them together, and hoping they work. But now we've taken all that experience from the Edelrock R&D team and created a complete top end kit all in one box. High quality parts with guaranteed performance. No one makes a top end kit like Edelbrock, and that's why I've been here for over 46 years. <laughs> 